Good afternoon. And my name is Jane Welch, and I am your community leader for this Mass. We welcome everyone to our celebration, and thank you for joining us. Our guidelines require that your mask cover your nose and your mouth throughout the entire Mass. There will be no contact during the sign of peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. Thank you. Please stand and welcome our pastor, Father Jerry Hurley. Let us all join together in worship and sing, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem to crown him Lord of all. Hail him, you heirs of David's line, whom David, Lord, did call. The God incarnate, man divine, and crown him Lord of all. The God incarnate, man divine, and crown him Lord of all. Crown him, you holy saints of God, who from his altar call. Extol him in whose path you trod, and crown him Lord of all. Extol him in whose 
whose path you trod and crown him Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to our celebration, and as we begin, we pause once again and call to mind our need for His forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, and blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they, they who thirst, that they may thirst for what is genuinely promised, and may always have their fill of your plenty through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who was called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work for which I called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salimus, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues, the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. O oh Lord, let all the nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through me. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and how to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Continue our reading from the Acts of the Apostles in these days, and we see the... Uh, the enormous movement of the Spirit, uh, nothing happens without the movement of the Spirit throughout the Acts of the Apostles. Um, the numbers have been growing in the uh, Jewish community, and now we begin to see some movement outside of the Jews. Many had gone away from Jerusalem because of the persecutions. Many of the disciples had gone but they were preaching to Jewish communities in Syria and um, Cilicia and uh, many other places. But now we have the first movement toward action and activity spreading outside. We uh, have the uh, recounting of the first missionary journey of Paul. First of the four missionary journeys that he will take, and they're very important events because they're moving out as the, the uh, Acts of the Apostles said, out toward the ends of the earth, the ends of the earth was Rome, and eventually the preaching takes place there. But uh, a new phenomenon is taking place, and that is that it is not confined to Jews any longer. Uh, Gentiles are being invited to join, and that is causing quite a bit of a stir. Back two chapters ago, we had Cornelius and his family being converted, and then the gates opening for more conversions from the, um, among the Gentiles. And now we have the first missionary journey of Paul and Barnabas, and that is directed at inviting all to uh, come and know his word and have faith in him. And that's a part of what Jesus is talking about in the gospel. He's saying, hearing my word, accepting my word, because this is just not my own word. It is the word of the Father who has sent me into the world. And the reason he has sent me into the world is to save the world, not to condemn the world, as many of those people were saying. No, even today, many are saying, well, yeah, they're big on the condemnation treatise. But uh, Jesus' message is still, hey, I've come that all might have life and have it abundantly. There's no question or ridicule in regard to that. And anybody who hears my word and acts upon it, they are entering into the business of eternal life. Lord, we ask you to hear our prayers today, which we now place before you. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, they may, we, may, may you, <laughs> that we may always look to Christ as the cornerstone of our faith, our world, and our lives. As we live out the gospel he preached, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops and pastors and all who shepherd the church through the challenges and difficulties of the 21st century, 
that they may exercise good judgment and wisdom as they care for their flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For increased respect for all of God's creation, that we may treat the earth and all that is on it with love and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all be attentive to the voices of the Good Shepherd, calling us to be shepherds of the flock through the ordained or lay ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have wandered away from the flock, for those who have been hurt, for those who cannot find a way back, that they may come to know the Good Shepherd through our outreach and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithful departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Neil Milliken, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray and remember all of those who are sick and in need of his healing and saving power. We pray especially for Joey Fuller, who is in the hospital. And we pray for Ed Brunini, both uh, preparing for serious surgeries. We ask you to bless them with health and strength and uh, continue the work of renewing them. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these are prayers we bring to you and we ask that you accept and grant them for we offer them with faith in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread. We offer you the work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he has restored our life. And so, with all of the angels and saints, we proclaim you glory as we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. 
And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again and therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Thank you, and let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Let us now join together in singing our communion hymn, Love Has Come. With one voice the angels sing Songs that make creation Prophets hear and call us to live in spirit and in truth. God the Father, Elohim, voice of thunder, spirit, when breathe on me your very Grace will make the darkness bright. Word of God in throne, dwell in us forevermore. Love has come to show the Hallelujah, peace be with us, love has come to show the way, God of covenant. 
lead us to the end of time. Beyond sorrow, beyond Beyond pride and earth and tears. Word of God enthroned, dwell in us forevermore. Love has come to show the Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended and we go now in peace peace, to love and to serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for being here. Glad you could be with us and we continue praying with and for each other. We will celebrate a healing mass on May 7th, the first Friday of May. And plans are underway to celebrate Pentecost Sunday on May 23rd with mass on the hill, followed by a parish picnic and fun. Adoration will follow immediately yeah. after this mass. Yeah. Please be seated or kneel if you're staying for adoration. If you'll be leaving, you can remain standing and wait to be dismissed from your pew. Please maintain social distancing as you exit the building. Thank you. Let's now say our commitment prayer. Here is my promise, Lord. I commit to look for the face of God in every face I see. I commit to respect and act with empathy and compassion toward all especially those who are struggling and those whose beliefs and lifestyles are different from mine. I will do my part to stop the spread of the virus, racism, poverty, and negativity. I can only do this through you, with you, and in you, Almighty God. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Let us all praise him together with our closing song, At the Name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him. King of glory now. Jesus is Lord, King of glory now. He emptied himself as a slave yet free, came in human likeness for you and for me. In likeness for you and for me at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow every tongue confess him King of glory now Jesus is Lord King of glory now he humbled himself 
and obey God's will. On a cross he died, on Calvary's hill. You and me, he obeyed God's will. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him. King of glory now, Jesus is Lord, King of glory now.
Thank you.